Hey guys, how's it going? Today it is just you and me. The family is in school today and they've left me home all alone, but I wanna go scuba diving. And I wanna get some pictures at this one coral head out there. Now I could text some dive buddies to meet me at the coral head, but most of my dive buddies really enjoy checking out the entire reef and having a nice long dive rather than sitting in one spot and just taking some pictures. So uh, I'm going solo today. Why don't you join me and we'll talk about solo diving along the way. Let's head out. Scuba diving, solo diving, or diving alone is a touchy topic to say the least. The general recommendation is just don't do it. Always dive with a buddy, someone else that's there to be able to help you. But in reality, that's just not always feasible. And it really depends on the dive plan, the situation, your skill level, the complexity of the dive, the environment, your equipment. All kinds of variables kind of go into determining what the safest and best way is to do a dive. And sometimes, solo diving is the way to go. So take for instance today, I just want to go hang out and take some pictures on one spot on the reef. But my dive buddies typically like to check out the entire reef, and I can't blame them. The whole reef is gorgeous. But they don't want to just hang out in one spot waiting for me, and I don't want them to do that either. So today, I'm gonna go solo and take some pictures in one spot. Now I can totally do it safely, and I get kind of the peace and quiet of being alone. Uno, dos, tres. So the other thing to consider is, what makes a dive buddy a dive buddy? Is it just someone in the same general area as you wearing a tank underwater? Or is it someone that you know well, has similar skills and training level as you do? Is it someone that you know will keep a cool head in an emergency situation and can help you out should your equipment fail? I don't know, food for thought. So how about instructors? When I'm out there teaching, and I'm with one or two or eight other new people that have actually never done this before and they're counting on me to bring them up and train them and to see them through the course safely. Uh, that's all well and good and I can definitely do that. But who's watching me? Nobody. I'm effectively solo diving each and every time that I'm teaching out there. I don't know, something else to think about. I'm ready to get in. Doing a solo dive 
But I think we're getting it done. Definitely got knocked around here a little bit to search. But it's so gorgeous down here. Alright, let's head on. Major training agencies have their own version of the self-reliant diver for solo diver course. And this is something that can definitely be done safely with the right training and experience behind you. Which is why, in general, the entry requirement into the solo diver self-reliant diver course is 100 long dives. my dive plan to someone on shore, so that I'm expected back. That is always a good thing to do. self-aware diver, and by extension, you become a better buddy, you become a better teammate, you just become better.